What's going on, Vision family? I am so excited. I mean, this Sunday, this Sunday will be our very first in-person gathering of 2021. Get excited, throw up some hearts, whatever you got to do. I'm really excited because I believe what the Bible says. I believe we shouldn't forsake gathering together regularly, meeting together. And I know we've been able to do it online. And listen to me, you guys have been amazing. Our online experience has just spread. Um, there are people all over, literally the world, that are hearing the gospel, some for the very first time. And so thank you for being engaged and inviting and sharing. But now we want you to keep that same excitement enthusiasm as we gather in person this Sunday. We're still going to have an amazing pre-service that starts at 950. So you want to be in your seat at 950 because it's going to be interactive and engaging and informative. So make sure that you are in your place at 950 and our worship experience will begin at 10 o'clock. And listen, if you aren't ready to gather yet, we understand that. We are still going to have Vision Church online. It's still going to be there for you. And when you're ready, when you feel the Holy Spirit prompting you to come, we want you to experience all that God has for you in His house with His people in the presence of God. I do want to tell you that there's a few things that we are doing to make sure that Sunday's experience and moving forward, uh, that the experience will be safe, that it'll be secure, that, that you'll feel um, great when you're here. Now, the first thing we're doing is we will have socially distant seating. Um, we did this before, but it's just smart. Um, we'll make sure that you're at least six feet apart, probably a little more, um, and that way you can feel comfortable with your friends and family. Um, and, and all we ask is please don't tear down barriers. Just sit in the appropriate seating. Uh, the next thing we're going to be do, doing is we are going to have temperature checks. We've done this before. Before you ever enter the building, um, we do a touchless thermometer just to make sure that, that you don't have a fever, there's no symptom there, and, and then you can come in. Um, and the last, the last thing that we ask, please wear a mask, please. Especially in the common areas, in the worship lobby, in the connect uh, room, in the worship center when you go to the bathrooms we are asking that you please wear a mask if not for you for everyone else um, and then when you get to your seat and you are ready to worship you have the option of removing that mask or keeping it on most people keep it on but if you're just uncomfortable you, you don't feel like it's good then make sure that you do that when you get up when you need to go to the restroom or you want to talk with someone please put the mask back on as you leave put the mask back on Again, this is just to keep everyone safe, and we're so excited. I don't, want, I don't want you to be discouraged by that. I want you to be encouraged that we get to gather again, the first gathering in person of 2021. And you may ask, well, what about our kids' ministry? We've got a phenomenal kids' ministry. You say, what are they going to be doing? You say, what, what about our student ministry? They meet on Sunday nights. What are we going to be doing there? And so instead of telling you, we've got some amazing leaders, we've got an awesome dream team, I want our leaders to tell you exactly what's going on. Thank you so much, Pastor Chris, for that. Jenny, what kind of guidelines do you have in place for the kids' ministry? So we are really excited to see your kids this Sunday at Vision Kids Live. Um, that's what we call our elementary group. So a few things that we're doing a little differently is uh, we're going to begin checking kids in at 950. Um, we will have hand sanitizer areas throughout the building. Our leaders will be encouraging uh, kids to wash their hands often. Um, we are uh, asking our leaders to please wear a mask when they're in the building and when they're interacting with our kids. We are also gonna be uh, changing our seating so that kids are socially distanced here in the large group room. So um, our leaders are ready. Um, we can't wait to see you guys on Sunday. And Zach, uh, what are some things that our student families uh, can expect on Sunday evening? Yeah, so I'm just excited that we're kicking students off again this Sunday night on the 17th. Uh, I'm just excited to see the students again, be around the leaders. Uh, but uh, doors open at 6, we start at 6.30, and we are going to uh, do temperature checks at the door. We're also going to uh, ask that you wear a mask, and that's for leaders and students that come. We'll have some uh, extra masks in case someone forgets to bring one. But uh, we just want people to wear their masks at all times, 
when we meet for worship, when we, we're able to sing and we're able to hear from God's word, if you want to take your mask off, that's okay. But if you want to get up to go to the bathroom or when we play a game or whatever we do, we would ask that you keep your, your mask on. Our worship area is going to be the same as, like Jenny said, in the large group area. It's going to be spread out, so you'll be uh, socially distant there. And uh, one last thing, we're not going to be having food or drink on Sunday nights just for the time being. And we'll, we'll try to figure that piece out uh, in the time to come. But uh, I'm just excited to get together, to be with our students, to be with our leaders, and to see what God does in our kids and student ministry in 2021. I mean, I cannot wait. Listen, continue to talk about what's happening at Vision. To continue to boast in God and His glory. Continue to be bringers. Continue to share, to invite, and get excited about this Sunday. We've been talking about a new year and a new you and a new way to think and a new way uh, to be in Christ. And this Sunday, we're going to talk about something that is so powerful that it literally has the power to kill or to bring life. Get excited. Be in your place this Sunday as we regather and focus on God.